Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tech Geek. Today I'm going to show you how to mirror your phone screen onto the projector. So I'm using an iOS device, so I'm using my iPhone X, and the projector I'm using is the Abyss HD 6K 4th generation projector. Um, I don't have my hand on an Android device right now, so I can't show that one in detail of how to connect to it, but this tutorial will kind of give you an idea. Um, I think mainly a lot of people would have trouble with just HappyCast itself. I think people can probably figure out how to mirror their screen after that, but HappyCast tends to be the issue. So HappyCast is an app that's pre-installed on the projector for you to cast your phone or device. Now the issue with HappyCast that a lot of people have is once I click onto it, you will see it's not in English and that's probably what worries people a lot and they just don't know what to do with you from there. You may have like scanned the QR code, that's what I did when I first did it and it took me to a web link but then it said I can't access that because it's not in my country. So obviously there's a bit of issue there and you just don't know what to do. But honestly all of that writing is not necessary, only the blue writing is what's most important. So it gives you the device name, HappyCast MA, it gives you a pin code as well just in case when you connect it asks for a pin code. Um, and then it has the Wi-Fi. Now, it's, it shows you the Wi-Fi because both the devices that you want to mirror to um, need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. So my phone's already connected to that. So I'll show you how to do cast right now. So on your screen, I'm just going to swipe down and I have a section for screen mirroring. You can try and find those settings or whatever. And it says Happy Cast M8. All I'm going to do is click on that. It's the same name as what we saw on, on the projector. And once you do that, you'll get a notification that comes up on the projector. So if you go back onto the projector, you'll see that there is a notification asking a request um, for connecting the device. You have to answer quickly because you only got a few seconds. I'm just going to press allow. And then I want to press allow this time. And once you do that, your phone will start um, mirroring to the projector and you can see it's already started mirroring um sorry for like the quality of it oh um yeah but don't <laughs> don't do what i just did right there i'm um, adjusting the bright i thought there'll be a difference on the projector screen does not make a difference so don't do that um sorry for the quality of this um like my, my recording camera doesn't really didn't really pick it up well because obviously there's like a really light background Otherwise, in real life, the quality is actually de is absolutely fine. Like, it's just the same as what's, what I see on my phone. You can literally access so much when you screen mirror. Not even so much. You can access everything on your phone when you're screen mirroring. Because at the end of the day, you're just mirroring your phone onto a larger screen. So I'll give you an example when we play a game. Um, let's play a quick game. So you obviously, you don't really look onto that like, main screen mirror. I think other people around you may look, but you yourself would use the phone. You can see there's a bit of lag. Now, there's no lag on the phone screen itself. This is just on the projector, so you don't need to worry about that. Bigger games would have a lot more bigger lag. So if you didn't see that, I had PUBG downloaded. If I was to play that, the lag would be unbearable. But it's okay because you'd be playing from your phone. So it doesn't really affect your phone. But people don't really screen mirror to play games. I think screen mirroring for phone is generally used for like showing pictures to people, videos, etc. I think that's generally what it's used. It's like tends to be a very personal use a lot of the times. Um, so playing games and having the lag is really not an issue at all. Um, you can access literally so, so much. So you can go on the calendar, you can go on your camera, you can go on maps. Um, you can check your photos out. I've even got Netflix downloaded on my phone, so when I want to watch Netflix, I can click on Netflix. I mean, I really don't see the point um, of me actually clicking on a Netflix right now because I just realised that the projector does have Netflix already installed on it. Um, same with YouTube and like the web browser and things like that. Um, but for example, if I have a um, food app, I have many, as you can see. Um, it's quite useful because if you have like a lot of people around you and you're trying to like ask, order like a big group meal and things like that, um, instead of like shouting it out or asking to repeat yourself, you can literally mirror it on the screen and anyone can just read it for themselves. So it's really, really useful. Um, and then to stop mirroring, you swipe down again, you press the screen mirroring thing and you say stop mirroring and it will take you back to the happy cast home screen. So it was really actually that simple. Like there's no um little 
um, instructions that you need to take. It's literally the most simplest way to do it, especially for an iOS device. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can see there's an app called Mirror as well. Now, when I click on that, it gives me Android Mirror, iOS Mirror, PC Mirror. This is the iOS. Honestly, it's not a big deal because literally it's taking me back to Happy Cast. So it's not like there's two different apps. It's literally taking me back to Happy Cast to connect via Happy Cast. So that's literally it. Um, I hope this tutorial is quite useful. Um, I hope that's kind of calmed people down about Happy Cast because I know it's not in English. It's really simple. And if you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Details of the projector, I will leave that in the description box. Um, like and subscribe for any more videos in the future. And I hope you guys have a good day.